I'm about to give you a golden nugget of information that can change your life forever. Are you ready? Here it is. The key to staying motivated throughout the day is to make sure that you are feeling good during the process of whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. That's it. That's all you need to know. But of course, I'm joking. But as simple as this may seem, it truly is the key to staying motivated and achieving the quality of success that you desire every day. Why? Because feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. Listen to me. Write that down, slap it on your refrigerator, put it on your desk at work. Here it is again. Say it with me and say it out loud. Feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. Listen to me. That's your choice. That's your responsibility. Nothing, absolutely nothing keeps people from staying motivated and achieving their goals more than harboring negative emotions or if they have a bad attitude during the process. The number one reason why people consistently fail in business and have difficulty achieving their goals is because positive momentum ceases. And the reason why positive momentum ceases is because the individual is focusing all of their energy on what isn't working and all of the things that need to be done in order to make it work. This type of chaotic thinking leaves the individual with no room at all in that brain of theirs for positive thoughts to seep through so that they can come up with healthier alternatives or deal with the next challenge that will inevitably follow probably moments later. In other words, your life or your business will not work if you keep thinking about what's wrong or what isn't working. It's important to understand that the way that you feel in any moment is dependent upon and evoked by what you're thinking or saying out loud in any given moment. In other words, your thoughts actually create the way that you feel. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Hey, don't give me that look. I'm telling you, you want proof? Keep listening. Right now, I want you to do this. Everyone, listen to me. Right now, I want you to try feeling angry, but do it without thinking about anything that makes you angry. You can't do it, it doesn't work, right? I mean, how could you feel angry without thinking about something that elicits the emotion from you? You can't. It's impossible. Now, try feeling guilty without thinking about something specific that you feel guilty about. Once again, you can't do it. The thought has to come first. Your emotional state is the direct result of your thoughts, and the tone of your thoughts becomes your life experience. The first step to turning this train wreck in your mind around is by being alert and becoming aware. That's a key word, aware of how you're feeling in any given moment. In other words, when you're feeling uptight, stressed out, and any negative emotion is taking control of you, I want you to stop and acknowledge that something is not right in your world. I want you to think about what you're doing to yourself, and I want you to understand what the repercussions are going to be if you continue this negative rampage that you've created. Now, why is awareness so important? Because as soon as you become aware of how you're feeling, the negative sensations will temporarily cease. In that moment of awareness, you enter into a whole new world of possibilities and opportunities where you can choose healthier alternatives on how to respond. In this world of possibilities and opportunities, you are now free to gradually shift your focus and way of thinking to the things and thoughts that will gradually lift you up, make you feel better and better. And that's what you want, isn't it? Well, isn't it? 